Now, let's take a plasmid called PBR322 and study its characteristics. In fact, this was the most widely used, versatile and easily manipulated vector. In fact, it is still considered an ideal plasmid vector. This was the first artificial cloning vector developed in 1977 by Bolivar and Rodriguez. Hence, the name PBR322. Here, P refers to the fact that it is a plasmid, B for Bolivar and R for Rodriguez. And the numeral 322 distinguishes this plasmid from other plasmids developed in the same laboratory. For example, there are plasmids like PBR325, PBR328, etc. PBR322 is around 4300 base pairs in length and harbors the origin of replication or RI which is derived from an E. coli specific plasmid. Which means that this plasmid can replicate inside E. coli and has a high copy number. It possesses two antibiotic resistance genes. One ampicillin resistant gene and two tetracycline resistant gene. The plasmid has unique cloning sites for more than 40 restriction enzymes like PST1, PVU1 and there are two restriction sites for restriction endonuclease on the tetracycline resistant gene, HIND3 and CLA1. The circular sequence is numbered such that 0 is in the middle of the unique ECOR1 site and the count increases through the tetracycline resistant gene. Well, what is the exact sequence? Here it goes. What you see behind me is the exact DNA sequence of this plasmid. And what is getting highlighted is the restriction sites in the 4361 base pairs.